What's going on guys, TCG Guide here. Well, you asked for it, so today I'm gonna to be profiling my Fluffles deck for the Link format. Now thankfully, Links didn't really hurt this deck too, too much, so I did manage to keep it a pure Fluffle deck uh, with a few changes to the extra deck, of course. Um, but overall, it's mostly the same deck that I was running, but let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we've got three Fluffle Dogs. This is your Searcher. It is absolutely one of the best cards on the deck. Use this plus an Edge Imp Sheep, and you've got a turn one Mrs. Radiant, and then you can go into more fusions. Of course, uh, you don't really need links to go into too many fusions with this deck, but I'll get into that later. Next up, three Fluffle Wings. Gotta have three Fluffle Wings to go with are three Fluffle Bears. Of course, you guys know that combo. Amazing, amazing draw power. Couldn't run the deck without it. Then for a little bit of extra support, got Fluffle Penguin. Now, I like Fluffle Penguin at three, just because it lets you get an extra special summon from your hand, in case you need to go into a decode talker, or if you just need extra material on the field to fuse with. I'm also running three Fluffle Octopus. Now I know a lot of people don't really like this card, but I really, really like that you can bring cards back from the graveyard and from banishment with it, because I'm banishing a lot when I fuse with this deck. Two Fluffle Owl, obviously you gotta run this card to get yourself an extra poly. One Fluffle Sheep, so you can still fuse as long as you've got this card. This card is great, like I said earlier, normal summon dog, then you can special summon sheep from your hand to go right into a Mrs. Radiant, or you can use it to bounce Fluffle Dog, and that'll get you an edge imp from your graveyard back onto the field for you to fuse with again. Speaking of edge imps, got three edge imp chains. Amazing, amazing card. Now its first effect doesn't really get used too much. What is important is that when it gets sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, you can add one Fright Fur card from your deck to your hand. It can be a Fright Fur Fusion, Fright Fur Factory, whatever you want. This card is great. I'm only running one Edge Imp Sabers because you can search it out pretty easily and really I end up playing it from the graveyard more often than anything. And King of the Swamps is one of the main reasons why I'm only running it at one because with King of the Swamp I can use that instead of an edge imp savers for any of my fusions or I can also use it to get myself a poly if I need to. Going into the spells, since you know I've got three bears and three wings, gotta have three toy vendors. Toy vendor is amazing draw power, I'm sure you guys already know. Uh, everything about this card is just amazing. Then when you send it to the grave, you get to search and that can be done a whole lot of ways and a lot of times my opponents will actually end up destroying it for me because they don't want me to get the extra draw power out of it. And since this is a fusion deck, running two poly, one fusion sub, I really like it at that. Um, I wouldn't really run three poly, it just doesn't work too well for me. Also I'm running one ultra polymerization, it lets me fuse, then get materials back, and then fuse again if I've got another poly in my hand or some other way to fuse. So a lot of times what I'll end up doing is using that to go in to go into a Fright for a Tiger and then go into a Sabertooth from there. Two instant fusion because you gotta be able to make sheep. Sheep is amazing and starts so many of your plays. Like I said, I am banishing a lot. Fright for a fusion, I run at three. A lot of people only like it at two or one, but I think the banishment's worth it as Fluffle Octopus with uh, then for extra fusing one Fright for a Factory. Not a bad card, but you do need to have Fright for a Fusion in the graveyard really to make the most of it. So I only run it at one after I've played Fright for a Fusion or two. Running two Suture Rebirth just for the extra fusing power. I fuse away the materials, get them right back. Just really good synergy. Foolish Burial sets up one of my main plays and I absolutely love doing this. Uh, use that, send Edgem Sabers to the grave, use its effect to special summon it from the grave, and put a Fluffle on top of your deck. 
then use Toy Bender's effect, reveal it, and since you know it's going to be a Fluffle, you automatically get the Special Summon, giving you an added boost from there. Then for the only traps, I'm running one Compulse and one Fusion Reserve. These are basically just a little safeguard in case I don't get to go second. Just a real nice way to even things out. Move on to the extra deck. So for the Link Monsters, I'm running one Decode and two Mrs. Radiant. I do actually like Decode better just because of the uh, extra bonuses it gets. And Mrs. Radiant really doesn't help too much since it only affects Earth Monsters and none of your Fright Furs are Earth. But then for the Fright Fur lineup, I'm running two Sabertooth. This card, you pretty much have to run it just in case you don't have a Link Monster. That way you can keep fusing and pulling from the graveyard. It lets you get a lot of fusions out really quick, especially if you don't have any uh, Link Monsters available. Running one Fright for Daredevil. Now this is kind of similar to um, Kraken, but the reason I like it is because after you've made a few plays, you can use this to deal some extra burn damage just on the summon. Then if it goes away for whatever reason, you can deal even more damage to him. But I haven't cut Kraken out completely. I am running that at two. Really good card. It can attack twice or it can pop a monster. And then if it does attack, you can switch to defense to protect itself at the end of the battle phase. Fright for Bear, I'm running mostly for the search. Um, not a bad card, but really not a great card. Just want to be able to get Fluffle Bear in my hand as easily as possible. And of course that helps. Running two Fright for Wolves for the OTK, even though that doesn't really happen a whole hell of a lot now in Link format, but it does still happen occasionally and I like to be ready when it does. I'm also running two Fright for Tigers, of course board wipe and an extra boost. You get that out plus a couple of Fright for Sabertooths and all of a sudden you've got the potential to OTK without playing a single Link monster or without Wolf. And then of course, like I said before, got to run a couple of Fright for Sheep because this card is amazing when it comes to fusion summoning. And that's about it for the Fluffle deck. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the deck, what you think of the profile. This is my first deck profile. So if you liked it, be sure to leave it some love down in the comments or hit the like button. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this or the other videos I have on my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Like I always say, have a great day guys.